today we'll learn how to make the maltagliati with cuttlefish sauce, a roughly cut flat pasta that was usually made from those scraps left over from cutting tagliatelle. We'll serve it with a taste and elegant cuttlefish sauce. Let's see the recipe. Ingredients for the maltagliati 2 and a third cups of flour 3 medium eggs 1 good pinch of salt For the cuttlefish sauce 1 pound of clean cuttlefish 1 small onion 2 cloves of garlic 3 sprigs of thyme 2 tablespoons of chopped parsley 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil 4 fillets of anchovy 14 ounces of canned peeled tomatoes A fifth cup of white wine Salt and pepper to taste First of all, prepare the fresh pasta dough. Sip the flour into a bowl, make an indentation in the middle and break the eggs into the well. Add a pinch of salt and mix with your hands. Incorporate the eggs into the flour. Then, once the ingredients have come together, Turn up the dough onto a wood surface and knead until smooth and elastic. Get the dough off your hands, then knead on a wood surface and bring it together to form a smooth dough. As you can see, now the dough is nice and smooth. Wrap in clean film and let it rest in a fresh place for at least an hour. In the meantime, move on to the cuttlefish sauce. While the dough is resting, we'll prepare the cuttlefish sauce. In a large pan, put the oil, the chopped onion, the crushed cloves of garlic and the thyme leaves. Sauté it for about 10-15 minutes until softened. And now add the chopped anchovy. Let it melt on a low flame. After that, add the cuttlefish that has been already cleaned and cut into pieces. Separate the tentacles from the body. Cut the bodies first into strips, then into small cubes. Stir well and pour in the white wine. Let it evaporate. Well, after 10 minutes, add the canned peeled tomatoes, mix well, season with salt and pepper, then cook for at least 10 15 minutes until the sauce has thickened, keeping the heat low. Before turning off the heat, add the chopped parsley. The sauce is done and the water is heating up, so now we can make the maltagliati. Dust the wet surface with flour, take the dough and roll it out to a thickness of 1 mm, more or less, not paper thin. You can use a pasta machine and roll into sheets, then dust with flour, overlap the strips and cut into pieces. The rest period makes the dough easier to stretch. Otherwise, it will be too elastic and you won't be able to roll it out. That's it! Now, dust the dough with flour cut into strips with a knife. Then overlap the strips, dust again with flour to prevent sticking and cut into diamond shapes. The size doesn't matter.
Now arrange the, the resulting mal tagliati on the work surface, dust them with more flour. After that, all you have to do is boil and add to the sauce. The pasta is cooked. Now drain and toss with the sauce. Give a good stir and your mal tagliati with cuttlefish sauce is ready to serve. Buon appetito!